Hi scientists, this is Miss Cordova, second grade teacher at Viewlands Elementary School. And today if you're taking a walk, remember to stay six feet away from neighbors or people that you see while you're walking. Wear a mask if you have one and just remember to be safe. We are on the lands of the Coast Salish people and the waters of the Coast Salish people today in Seattle. Today if you are taking a focused walk, you might want to start thinking about human decision making which is just a fancy way of saying what types of decisions are people making in your outdoor spaces. Right away, I have so many here in this place and you're gonna have so many near your home because where you live is on land and there are going to be a lot of relationships that you can see there. So right away, I know that my lawn in my apartment building gets mowed once a week. That's a human decision. Somebody is deciding that this should look a certain way and that it should be taken care of every week. I also have a really big human decision behind me, a bridge. Somewhere along the line, there are humans that said, we gotta build a bridge so that people can get from one place to the next. And this bridge especially has been under construction for a really long time and is still under construction. So that is a decision that humans are making. So again, when I take notes, I wanna make sure that I write the date, the time, the temperature, and the weather. So today it is sunny with some clouds. Okay, so as you are taking notes about the different um, things that you observe that you think were affected by decisions that humans made, you can make two columns. One can share the things that you notice and one can share the things that you wonder. And then over here, you can kind of write some notes as we go. So again, like I just said, I just noticed that there's a really big bridge behind me. And I'm gonna write down some wonderings about some decisions that were being made when that bridge is being made. So I'm actually thinking about like, how do building things like bridges affect the habitats of the fish and wildlife that live in this place? How does it affect deeper down the structure of the floor and the ground in this place? I'm also thinking about, like I said, grass. So every time we mow grass, what kind of things are happening down below with organisms and other things like that? I notice like when I kneel down close to this grass that there's other plants growing besides just grass. So when, um, when people decide to plant grass here in this space, how are they making decisions about those other plants that were living there? And like, what's this? This is clearly a human decision. I have a lot of questions about that. And I even noticed right here, there's like tarp underneath this space. I've never even noticed this before. So there's all kinds of decisions that have been made by humans here. And I'm also thinking a lot about who makes those decisions, who's in charge of changing those decisions if they need to be changed. And also what could I do to impact the environment as well. So if you decide to take a focus walk today, I want you to think about the different decisions that have been made by people in your neighborhoods or yards. Have a great walk.